using conventional valves now we are losing energy every day in a global effort to save energy and cut waste a growing number of professional engineers are embracing a new technology in our public buildings these engineers design systems that heat or cool buildings such as offices hotels hospitals and airports traditionally the water flow in a HVAC system is balanced using manual balancing valves and the temperature is controlled by control valves. Whilst necessary to ensure the building is uniformly heated or cooled, balancing is in practice a time-consuming, expensive operation. A gebouw balanceren betekent that you ervoor zorgt that elke afnemer die hoeveelheid water ter beschikking krijgt die nodig is om het gevraagde vermogen of het ontwerpvermogen te leveren. En ook niet meer dan die hoeveelheid. Particularly with flow rates being driven down by better insulated buildings and bigger delta T's on heating systems, uh, it was becoming impractical to try and proportionally balance the flow rates using the traditional method. Somebody has to uh, spend hours to do the balancing, you know what, so that is the reason we shifted to a user friendly, construction friendly method of controlling the chill water or hot water. So what is this user friendly product these engineers are referring to? Well, Denfoss united the two functions, balancing and control, into one single valve. The pressure independent balancing and control valve or PIBCV for short. This happy union brings a number of technical, practical and financial benefits. With the PICV valve it's a simpler process because um, you just need to look at the flow rate that you're trying to control and um, you, you, you get 100% um, authority by virtue of the fact of um, the pressure control within the valve itself. Als je nu druk gecompenseerde ventielen toepast, dan bestaat het inregelen feitelijk uit het instellen van de gewenste waterhoeveelheid op het ventiel. En als je dan het ventiel in de installatie plaatst, ja, dan is daarmee het inregelen eigenlijk gebeurd. The reason we made the conversion um, to PICV was a number of reasons. Um, from, from a procurement um, point of view, we were, we were having to buy one valve instead of two. Um, and we, we believed we needed to get away from the, the, the fixed orifice type double regulating valve. I changed to PICV primarily because I wanted to attain uniform thermal comfort during summer and winter and reduce uh, unnecessary manpower which was getting wasted earlier when we were using conventional control valves. We're looking at every way we can to reduce um, energy consumption costs and um, the PICV valve is um, uh, one, one component that helps us to do that. Um, you know, it, we, we're, we, we're getting much better control, um, we get li a linear control. New technology sometimes comes with an extra price tag, but in this case, the sum really adds up, according to these engineers. We don't have the problems with um, uh, valve selection um, because it, it's a simpler process. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's, there's benefits across the board. There's benefits um, with regards to the cost of um, commissioning. Um, the labour cost is reduced. Um, and also, more importantly, the programme. Um, if we can shave a week or two weeks off uh, the commissioning time, uh, particularly at that end of a project, um, that, that's invaluable. Ze zijn iets duurder dan conventionele uh, regelventielen. Alleen daar staat dus tegenover dat er ook een groot aantal besparingen uh, tegenover staan. Je, hebt, je hoeft geen inregelafsluiters meer te kopen. Uh, je hoeft ze ook niet meer in te regelen, wat heel veel uren kost. Nou, manuren zijn tegenwoordig vrij kostbaar. En dus de meerkosten van de regelklep, wegen ruimschoots op, 
tegen de kostenbesparingen van het inregelen en de aanschaf van inregelafsluiters. We are now actually only validating flow rates as opposed to balancing them. And uh, we, we've gained confidence in the product. Um, and we now don't fit flow measuring stations on terminal units and tend just to fit flow measurement devices on sub branches, branches, and main plant. So there's, there's again another saving, another saving there. Due to the high performance of the PIBCV, Temperature in the rooms is much more precisely controlled, creating a better indoor climate and reducing energy waste. The trend is to use uh, energy efficient control mechanism which are, have lesser hassles in installation, testing and commissioning. Also, the day-to-day -day maintenance is far too lesser than a conventional system. The focus these days is, is clearly on reducing energy costs and the PICV valve IC is one component that goes um, towards that. Um, obviously if you've got a building with a thousand PICVs, those small cost savings add up to a significant sum of money. Now that Denfoss has established a clear track record by selling millions of ABQM PIBCV valves, these engineers are convinced they can reliably save costs and energy during installation, commissioning and service. We place thousands of clapjes per year, and as we then look at how much outfall or how many storing we have there, is that minimal. So, De, de, de bedrijfszekerheid is, 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 is voor ons in ieder geval, naar onze ervaring, is erg groot. Kijk, als dat ook niet zo zou zijn, dan zouden wij daar ook niet mee doorgaan. Using conventional valves now, we are losing energy every day. Sooner we adopt a technology which saves energy, which conforms to green building norms, the better it is. We've installed literally thousands of them and, and we know that it works and it's reliable. Based on their technical assessment of the PIBCV and its proven track record in buildings around the world, these engineers have some clear words of advice for their peers. I would only say, look at the possibilities, look at the technical specifications and decide yourself. Then you come yourself to the conclusion that, uh, let's say, the future is still well in the toepassen van druk gecompenseerde regelventielen. Interested? Contact your nearest Denfoss office or visit www.abqm.denfoss.com.